What was it hard keep your kids focused? It's always hard keeping kids focused, <laughs> but like, it, okay, one hundred percent, right? But okay, for sure. At the, at the same time, like, it's a different kind of focus because they want it so bad. Like, they know everybody's gonna be out there. So rivalry week is definitely different. But like, the kids was really locked in because they wanted that double. Okay, okay, man. I, I I'll, I'll tell you, man. You know, I. You know, really start paying attention to Polk County, uh, you know, youth football probably about about three four years ago, man. Mm -hmm. and, and and listen, I tell you, Polk County, they are as serious about you know football as anywhere else in the state, man. So you know, for anybody that's out there that's you know that's watching that you know, may not have you know been you know privy to you know get to Polk County and see you know some football over there. Listen, man, I don't care how small the town is. They have a youth football team. I mean, and, and Polk County really, really, you know, gets live about youth football, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. We got stupid athletes down yeah. here. It's just a, getting them out on that stage where people know what we got. We can go over there to Tampa and we can run that. We can bust that if they want to do it. Orlando, we're going to go over there and do it. Wherever they send us to, we got the kids that can play. We got the people behind them that's going to support them. And we're going to come to your city and turn it into a house. <laughs> Y'all going to change the name, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to put a P in the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You something else, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 so Chuck, you know, with with the you know leading up with the you know everything is intense, you know everybody talk about it. You guys making uh, you know disc records, you know uh, personally, did your preparation for that game change at all from you know what it would be, you know just a regular a regular season game? No, nah, it was it was the same. Cause ultimately, okay. I go to the Super Bowl. We done been not done that, been for in sure. situations like that. So we played the preseason season games to prepare for that type of situation. So we just really just trying to get better day by day, consistently okay. every week. So it's important that you that we stay consistent in what we did, our routine. So nothing changed besides game planning for them. <laughs> for sure, man. Listen, like like I say, you know, we we all know Polk County is crazy about their football, man. So. How, how important was it for you guys, you know, to come away, you know, winning that split against the Mamas, man? It's just like Florida State, Miami. Okay. Florida State, Florida. It's like recruiting. Like, everybody was out there. They see how <laughs> deep our cheerleaders is, man. It's, they loaded on every spot. They see how technically sound they are and how much fun we having, what the vibe is like for our football guys. And yeah. So we, we, we promoting ourselves. We are our biggest uh, uh, promoters. So we put it out there. We put our brand out there. I think it's sticking and it resonated with the people. And they, they, next year we'll get a lot more of those kids from that Lakeland area to come over and lead the Lakeland Mumbles and come to the Polk County Press. <laughs> now, now y'all over in the Auburndale area? We we went to Haven, okay. Arbondale, Haines City, Lake Wells. Uh, we got the whole east side. We just finna go and push it over west <laughs> and get the rest of that. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> man, you man, you something else, man. <laughs> I only tell the truth, bro. I promise. I, I I can't make that stuff up. It's gonna it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, listen. In, in, in terms, like you said, with the uh, you know with the chillers in the program, man. You know when I put the uh, announcement out that you were coming on to the show, man. You know one of my homeboys from over in Polk County called me. He said, "Man, look." People don't realize it, but I think the pressure probably to have the biggest youth program in, uh, you know, in Polk County. You know, if you, you know, add up all the chilies and the, you know, and the football program. Oh, period, period. It ain't even close. There ain't no wow. right in it. I'm telling you, like, listen. By us, it was already big yeah. when it was Raiders and Chiefs just as a separate. Now we together. Yeah. We got the most kids, hands down. I mean, anybody in Polk County, if they want to line up and play us football or uh, chill off, we going to bust them. <laughs> and, 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 and you can, you can leave a comment with a phone number. I'll call you. We'll make it happen. <laughs> so we run Polk. We we really did this to go on tour and get on a national level and okay. state level and do like, hey, look, man, we here and we ready. We go against anybody. That's what we did this for. Locally, we just, that's a takeover. That's just going to happen. <laughs> Locally, it's a takeover. Oh, yeah, facts. <laughs> man, listen, I, I'm be very, very honest with you, man. 
when I heard that a first year organization has the largest, you know, uh, participation the largest numbers in all of Polk County, I'm, I'm telling you, now that is thoroughly impressive, man. And, you know, man, and, and hats off to you guys, man. Thank you, man. Hey, and man, everybody out there working. And then honestly, man, it was some chill squads that was full after three weeks of being out there and being able to register that. They was like, man, I can't even take no more. And wow. people still trying to come. So it's, it's crazy, man, but it's a good thing. That's what we wanted, the vision coming through. And we just got to keep praying, be blessed up, you know what I mean? And, sure. and keep it moving in the right direction. Hey, man, listen, that, that's actually a, a great thing, man. If you guys have that much participation as a first-year organization, man, that definitely means you guys have the right people in place, you know, making things move and shake, and people are buying into what you're doing, man. Right, right. Yeah, so so Chuck, man, before I let you get out of here, man, is there anything else you want to add, anything you feel the audience needs to know? Hey, look, if you don't want your president all on the sideline, trying to coach every team, all in the video dancing, come to the press. <laughs> hey man, you wild man. <laughs> hey man, man, you wild. Hey, hey man, hey don't, hey don't do Lee Brown like that, man. Lee Brown the one with working hard, man. <laughs> nah, you know I gotta do it to if he'll be does he'll use it as a recruiting tool at the same sure. thing. So hey. it's all love. Hey, hey. Hook, but at the same time, man. It's pressure, man. The peace sign. For sure, for sure, for sure. Hey, hey, Chuck, hey, hey, you gave me a new name for Lee Brown, man. Now I'm about to start calling Lee Brown the Don King of you football, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don King, for real, man. <laughs> hey, for sure, man. Hey, with Chuck, bro, listen, man, I, I knew it would be a great interview, man. Again, bro, I just want to thank you again for coming on to the show, man. You know, I... You know, try to do what I can, man, to promote youth football in a positive way, man. And the yes, people, you know, people yes, around the state that's moving and shaking, man. I want them to come on and you know talk about some of the things they're doing, man, and anything I can do to help you know you guys or your program, man. You got all my information, man. I'm always here. Double C. One hundred percent. One hundred percent, man. If you have any tournaments that you're doing later on, reach out, man. We're ready sure. to rock and roll. Hey, uh, hey, always, man. Anything I can do, man. I'm here, man. Enjoy the rest of your evening, Chuck. All right. You All too. Right, I appreciate your ball. Peace out. <laughs> All right, Peace man. Peace out. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. Have a good one, boy. <laughs> All right. All righty, guys. I just want to thank the homie Chuck again for coming on to the show, man. I knew the homie would give a great uh, interview. You know, they came over the coast to coast and and I've been paying attention to what they're doing. I knew that this, you know, Mamas game was going to be a very, very big game, you know, for those guys. And they won the split. You know, the Mamas came in with a lot of fanfare, you know, but the pressure was quietly, you know, putting the pieces over there they needed, you know, to win the split on the day. So, again, want to, you know, congratulate them and thank them, you know, for all the things that they're doing, you know, for the youth, you know, over in Polk County. Again, guys, as I always conclude my show, listen, guys, I'm a Florida boy through and through, and I'm going to represent the great state of Florida. I'm going to represent our youth with everything I have in me until I hit the dirt. Double salute. I love you guys to death, and I'll see you guys next week. I'm out.